Funding for this program was provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. Perfect day. Oh, what's this? Uh huh. To Mr. Conductor from his friends, the squirrels. Oh, hazelnuts. Mmm, my favorite. Let's go see Mr. Malarkey's traveling zoo. Let's go to the baseball card show. No, the traveling zoo. Baseball card show. Zoo! Show! Zoo! Show! Hey! Over here! What are you two arguing about? And why are you still inside on a beautiful day like this? Well, we were deciding where we should go today. I think we should go see Mr. Malarkey's traveling zoo. I think we should go to the baseball card show. Why don't you put it to a vote? Okay. okay. All in favor of going to the amazing, wonderful, exciting traveling zoo, say aye. Aye. All in favor of going to the greatest baseball card show in the world, where I want to get a Slugger Cobb baseball card, say aye. Aye. Hi, everyone. Kara, do you want to go to the amazing traveling zoo with me? Do you want to go to the greatest ever baseball card show with me? I want to go on a canoe trip. Oh. Well, it's all settled then. You go to the zoo, you go to the baseball card show, and Kara can go on a canoe trip. After all, you don't always have to do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Becky, that zoo you're going to would that be Mr. Malarkey's traveling zoo, which travels from here to Timbuktu? Yes, but where is Timbuktu? I'll go look it up in the atlas. <sighs> All you have to do is mention some place that Kara doesn't know, and she runs to the atlas to look it up. Kara loves looking up places on the atlas. <sighs> here it is. There it is, Timbuktu. Wow, that's pretty far away. It's right in the middle of Central Africa. I want to go there someday. Oh, it's later than I thought. I have to go far away myself. Can you tell us a story first? Well, I have some very serious, very adult, and very tiny railroad business to attend to. It's my turn to water the flowers at Leaky Park Station. Then I'll tell you a story. Okay. 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 Okay, I'll meet you over by the old fairgrounds. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> it's arrived! Finally, it has arrived. <laughs> Boy, everybody's gonna want to know what's underneath this orange cover. <laughs> Everybody. I mean, uh, I personally hate to share, but well, if share I must then, certainly share I will. <laughs> because everybody's going to want to know what's on a... Oh, hi, Schemer. Oh, hi. What's under the cover? How would you... Hey, get your hands off of there. Wouldn't you like to know? OK, if you don't want to tell them. Oh. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going, kids? Where are you going? Outside. Well, outside? Now, why would anybody want to go outside? Well, there's a <laughs> traveling zoo. Yeah? And a baseball card show. Mm -hmm. Special canoe rides. Well, uh, listen, when you find out what's underneath this orange cover, I don't think you're really going to want to go anywhere. Okay. What's underneath this cover? Yeah. You get your hand. Now, listen to me. What's underneath this cover is something that is so unbelievably great. So I want you to imagine what is the one thing that everybody just loves. Their mothers. Uh, do, do mothers come under an orange? No, not their mothers. 
Baseball stuff. No, not baseball stuff. Apple pie? No, no. Does apple pie, does apple pie look this big? No. It's better than apple pie, better than baseball, better than mothers. Be prepared to have the eyes fall out of your head. Televisions! <laughs> oh? That's all you can say is, oh? Television's no big deal, schemer. <clears throat> oh, let me tell you what the big deal about these televisions are, and that is this. They are pay televisions. <laughs> And they come with free seats. So, sit right down, there you go. And they also come with over 600 channels. One. Two. You'll love to dance with Dawn. And Dad will, too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Something for everybody. Ooh. That one looks interesting. What is that? It looks that, like the tops of trees. Yeah, that's the 24-hour forest ranger channel. <laughs> you get to watch the tops of trees all day long. Schemer, I can go outside and see trees, real trees. Yeah, but in order to do that, you have to go outside and you gotta get all outdoorsy and stuff. Here, you can just sit back, relax, and watch the tops of trees. Ooh. That is the 24-hour crybaby channel. <laughs> you get to laugh while you watch babies cry themselves to sleep. <laughs> Pretty great, huh? Excuse me, this is really dumb. Let's go out. Yeah. Wait a second, look at this place. It's the monkey channel. TV. You better hurry up and get here because I'm about to turn on my favorite channel, and that is this one. Turn the handles, hear them click. You'll never know when you'll be hit. It's Pie Face. It's a game and it's new. Get your face full of goo. It's Pie Face. With spinner, mask, and pie drawer. The 24-hour toy commercial channel. Is that great? Or is that great? <laughs> is that fun? Is it just my imagination, or has there been a definite lack of music in everyone's life? Usually by this time, we've already played three or four songs. Yeah, I'm afraid our little pals up there might be getting stuck to the screen. Locked to the box. Glued to the tube. Then let's break the mood. Shall we play a little ditty? Something hot, but kind of pretty.
buddy. You gotta come outside and see this. What? What? What is it, Billy? Well, you gotta see for yourself. Come on. <laughs> Dad, come on, you gotta see this. The goats got loose from Mr. Malarkey's traveling zoo, and when Mr. Malarkey went to catch them, the goats all jumped on top of everybody's car, and now everybody's got a goat on their car. You're gonna miss it. Uh, maybe after this show, Billy. But you're gonna miss it. it it'll be on TV. You're still here? I was waiting for you. I thought we were going to meet at the old fairgrounds. I was going to tell you a story. Look over there. There's a seven-ton elephant trying to climb into a pair of my pants. What do you know about that? Oh, hi, Mr. Conductor. Did you just say something about an elephant in here? Well, I came back to tell you a story. Oh, oh great. Great. Good. Oh, great. That's... Yeah. Not here, over there. These things are starting to give me the willies. And now that I have your undivided attention... Bill and Ben are the most mischievous engines working on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. They're kept busy pushing and pulling cars up and down the line that runs from the China Clay Works to the harbor yard. They like to have fun together and often play tricks on the workmen. But sometimes their teasing ways can get them into trouble. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see them. Important goods have arrived in the big yard. Bill and Ben, I need you to help the other engines. Oh, yes, of course, sir, replied the twins. They set off happily on their important mission. Boko was resting in the yard when suddenly he heard a pair of familiar whistles. Hmm, sighed Boko. Here comes trouble. Sir Topham Hatt told us you were tired, teased Bill. He asked us to take all your cars for you. You two never stop, do you? But I'm wise to your pranks, and we do need help here. The twins were soon busy pushing and pulling the heavy cars into place. At last, the day's work was done. The twins now became excited. They were going to use the turntable for the first time. Bill went first. This is fun, he shrieked to Ben. He didn't want to move off at all. The foreman stopped the turntable. Please make way for the other engines, he ordered. Bill did so, but the foreman had accidentally stopped the turntable in the wrong place. Bill was on the wrong track, and there was Ben puffing directly toward him. The engines came to a grinding halt. They gazed grimly at each other. I was here first, said Bill. But you're in my way, protested Ben. You'll have to back up again. I won't. You will. I won't. Sir Topham Hatt came to stop the noise. If you don't behave, I shall not allow you here again. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. That Bill, imagine getting in my way on the turntable. He's a really silly engine. The way I heard it, sighed Boko, it sounded like you were both to blame. <laughs> you must have heard it all wrong. The twins grumbled about each other all day. Even kind Edward lost patience. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt. 
I'll start making arrangements right away. The next morning, he called Bill and Ben into the yard. Boko is taking a special train to the harbor. His regular heavy goods train is waiting on the siding. You can pull it together. But, but, protested Bill and Ben, who were still not speaking to each other. Good, I knew I could rely on you two. I'll take the train myself, huffed Ben. Go right ahead, said Bill. Ben was coupled up to the train of freight cars, but they were too heavy for him to move alone. Go on, teased Bill. I can't, said Ben. Then suddenly both twins laughed. I don't think we'll take turns this time, Ben, said Bill. I think we'd better pull together. Ben was delighted. It was good to be helping each other. Best of all, it was good to be friends again. And so you see, when Bill and Ben learned to work together, they became friends again. Where are Becky and Karen and Dan? Ah, uh, they're back over watching television. They like television more than my stories. Maybe I should start telling my stories on TV. Hey, Mr. Conductor, wait. That's it. I'm going to tell those kids to stop watching TV, Billy. They're wasting too much time. Oh, hold on a minute, Stacy. I mean, sometimes the best lessons are the ones we learn ourselves. Yeah, but do you think they'll get tired of it? Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, you can't beat real life. Oh. Hey, look. Oh. Cobb. Hey. Uh, you're Slugger Cobb, aren't you? The baseball player? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, pleased to meet you. Look, I was looking for the baseball card show. I want to get a Ken Griffey Jr. card. Could you uh, give me directions? Well, I can't help you, but uh, <clears throat> this young man over here, I think, can help you. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, could you tell me how to get to the baseball card show? You see, I'm supposed to be there, and I've uh, lost my directions. Hey, guys, I got Slug Cobb on Channel 202. No, no, I, no, kid, I'm, I'm not on TV. I'm right here next to you. Whoa. Turn on channel 202, and you can hear Slugger Cobb. He's the best. I'm watching the All Monkey Channel. What are you watching? The All Toy Commercial Channel. What channel is that? Channel 400. Oh, oh look! He's coming. He's here. And he wants to save us. He's the mechanical man who fights pollution. He's... Envirobot. When pollution hurts his eyes, Envirobot fights back. Nothing can stop him. On land or in the air, Envirobot sees all. But Envirobot needs help. He needs a friend like you. Forward. Every normal boy from a decent family wants his very own Envirobot. And Envirobot wants you. Get your Envirobot today and help him stop pollution. Batteries, accessories, and moving parts are not included. To get your very own Envirobot, come on down to the Shining Time Station General Store or give us a call and we'll deliver Envirobot directly to your door. Remember, that's the Shining Time Station General Store. Everything you want in a store and a whole lot more. That's right, kids. We've got some toys down at the Shining Time Station General Store, corner of Butternut and Main. Barton Winslow, proprietor. Wow. I want an Envirobot. I am going to use the money I saved up for the baseball cards. Hi, Mr. Winslow? Yeah, can I get an Envirobot? He's really getting an Envirobot. I can't believe he's gonna waste his money on that. Yeah. Oh, look! Every girl wants Missy Fussy in her home. 
She's the big, adorable baby with so much to say. Did you bring me something today? And she needs you. Will you fix my hair now? Missy Fuzzy can say over 150 things. Can you make me a new dress? A nice, pretty one. Missy Fuzzy. You'll hardly believe how lifelike she is. Missy Fussy is full of surprises. Change me. Hurry. Missy Fussy. You're gonna love Missy Fussy. She's your very best friend, Missy Fussy. You wanna play with Missy Fussy. She never runs out of things to say. Clean up my room, please. You'll never run out of things to do with Missy Fussy around. Take me outside now. What are we having for dessert tonight? Missy Fuzzy, the doll who speaks her mind. Missy Fuzzy, she's your very best friend. Leave the hall light on, please. Every girl wants Missy Fuzzy. The size of your television may make Missy Fuzzy appear much larger than she actually is. Tired of watching TV? Well, they're still at it, Stacy. Yeah, it's a wonder their eyes aren't spinning around in their heads. Oh, I've got an idea. If anything will get Kara away from that TV, this will. Come on, follow me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Billy, uh, did you know it's a long way to Tipperary? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a long way. Yeah. But, uh,. <coughs> Stacy, where, where is Tipperary? Well, I don't know. I wonder if anyone knows where Tipperary is. Kara, wh where is Tipperary? I don't know. Would you like to look it up in an atlas? Uh, maybe after this commercial. Mm. Mm. This is more serious than I thought. Yeah. Oh, Billy, I think we better put a stop to this. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Kids! Uh, kids! Ahem! <clears throat> Kids, that's enough watching TV. Do you hear me? <gasps> Holy couch potato, that's it. No more TV. Oh, hi, Stacy. Oh, I think you've watched enough TV. You're probably right. That's annoying. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to see Mr. Malarkey's traveling zoo. Oh, no. They've already left for today. They'll be back tomorrow. Well, I'm going to the baseball card show. Oh, no. You're too late. It's already closed today. Well, I'm going on a canoe ride. Mm-mm. I had to put the canoes away. There won't be no rides until next week. Mm. You mean we missed everything? You can never miss everything, kids, because there's always something new to do but you did miss everything you wanted to do today. Oh, no! Hey, folks! Look what we've got! Look, it's Martin Winslow! Yeah, it's Martin Winslow! Afternoon Kids One special delivery right here. Oh, it's the toys we ordered! Yeah. Bet it is. One Enviro bot for Dad, so and great. a Missy Fussy doll for Kara oh, and great. Becky. Look at Store, Barton. Oh, well, it's, it's just a sideline, Stacy. I've never actually seen myself on television. Oh, they look real good. Well, i got to go because i got some more deliveries to make. Come on, Mel. Okay, bye, Barton. Bye, Barton. Virobot looked a lot better on TV. Is he fussy? You made her sound so great in that ad. But... She's not the same as she looked on TV. Mm. Yeah, Missy Fussy shrunk. She's not saying anything. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Sure. Let me see just a second. There we go. 
Oh, yeah. It says here, Missy Fussy needs special batteries. Oh, what kind of batteries? Well, you gotta send $8 to... What's this here? Hmm. Yeah, Krakatoa. East of Java. Oh, but Krakatoa is west of Java. No. Yeah, you're right. West of Java. I hate TV. They sold us junk, and they stole our time. Well, honey, I don't think they stole your time away. I think you gave it away. You know, kids, just because something's on TV, it doesn't mean that you have to watch it. And when you do choose to watch TV, well, then you should pick out the very best so you have time to do other things. Hmm? Television! I love my color. Vision! <laughs> oh, hello, typical average TV viewers. Oh. Hey, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. First, the good news. No more free samples of my pay TV. From now on, you get to pay. <laughs> now, the bad news. Why aren't you over there watching it? Come on, let's go. Oh, I, I think we've had enough TV to last us a while. Yeah. Oh, sure. So what are you going to do with yourselves? Stare at the floor? Oh. Hey, <gasps> look at these boxes. We could build a fort. Yeah, and then we can use this to make a big dinosaur out of paper mache. I'm going to build a ranger station, like the one I saw on TV. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. You, you, you're going to tell me that you're going to have more fun with an empty box than you would sitting in front of the miracle of television? <laughs> come on, what's wrong with TV? There's nothing wrong with it, Schemer. It's just that you can't watch TV and play at the same time. And right now, we just want to play. <laughs> yeah, but you, you can't even plug in a box. And they don't even come in color. Don't, don't you? I bet if I was on TV, you'd watch it. Come on, what are you going to do with this stuff? Look at that. I mean, you can't do anything with this. It's just a Square well, am I glad to hear that. Three cheers for the kids. Now, where was I? Dear squirrels, thank you very much for the bag of nuts. They tasted delicious. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So much to see, so far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to. Who knows how far you'll go? To a shining time station where dreams can come true. Your own imagination waiting there for you. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. This is PBS.